Lately, I have been giving myself a lot of tasks and setting some goals that I want to finish in my life. And I'm extremely proud to say that I have finished every single none. I finished none. I don't know what's about it, but it will be Monday and then you tell yourself that I want to do this, that, and then write different tasks that you want to finish. And then you turn around and look back and soon enough it's Friday. Quack. If you're anything like me, I'm sure you've been stuck in this cycle before where you don't know where your time has went, but somehow it is gone without you even realizing it. And as I was searching for a solution to this problem of mine, almost everyone was recommending the same thing for managing your time and tasks, and that is bullet journaling. You see, but the problem is that when people were talking about bullet journaling, most of them were referring to like this physical book where you write down your notes. And honestly, to me, that was just not gonna work. I personally know that I will not carry a book with me the whole time and I just like digital noting more than the physical one. So I refer to the one device that I carry with me on all times and that is my phone. I then created an online system that can help me manage my tasks and gain back control of my life. Make sure to watch the full video if you would like to see in detail how I built my digital bullet journal. Okay, so in this part of the video, we're going to be trying to build my bullet, my digital bullet journal in Notion because that is my preferable software that I love to use for all my task management and productivity. As I was searching on the internet, I found a lot of people that are making different types of bullet journals and they write a lot of different things in them like um, managing their events and birthdays for friends and every single detail of their life. To me, I really do not need all these stuff. I want it to be only for the stuff that I find important in my life. If I want to dial in every single aspect, every single thing that I do in my life, I feel like I will be going in the opposite direction and wasting time rather than making the best out of it. So with that being said, a few things that I'm going to write in my bullet journal are First of all, a simple to-do list so that I can see my tasks and things that I need to do um, in front of me. Other than that, I'm going to write my habit tracker, which is gonna help me stay on top of the habits that I want to do on a daily basis. I'm also gonna be trying to log in my sleep uh, schedule because right now, my sleep schedule is so effed up and I need to fix it somehow. So I'm going to write in the times that I go to bed and the times that I wake up and how many hours I get every day so that I can monitor if I'm having enough sleep. I'm also going to dial in my stress levels because lately, especially with like trying to create content for YouTube on a deadline and then Instagram and trying to stay on top of my exams for the university, um, being on my own in this apartment in quarantine and then also trying to catch a flight to go back to my country and be with my family, it's been all so stressful and my stress levels are rising as high as Snoop Dogg is pretty much every day. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make it as simple and minimalistic as possible and hopefully it works out. So as you can see right here, we have this blank page on Notion. I'm just gonna call it bullet journal. Let's add an icon of a book and let's add a cover just for fun. Okay, that looks nice. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna try to keep it simple. So I'm just gonna put in here my week. Uh, so let's create a page. And we're gonna call this weekly. And then let's create another page and call it monthly. So for weekly, let's add an icon, uh, anything. Uh, so. So the first thing that I want to have in this page is to have a to-do list. And if you go over here, we can see that I already have a page with the name to-do list with all the name of the weeks dialed in over here. It's empty, I don't have any tasks, but what we can do is that I can copy this link and then type it inside this weekly page, create link database. And then now, Whatever I add into this page will eventually appear in that page. And let's add Karim, for example. And if you go to the to-do list, you can see that now it's over here. And if I have a task, let's say, for example, um, buy grocery. Um, and I did not do it on Monday, I can easily just move it to Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever. And then once it's done, I just click done on it. And that way I know that I already finished that task. Um, and this 
will be the same in both pages as you can see over here. The second thing that I want to do, which is one of my favorite stuff is the habit tracker. The way we're gonna do that is by creating a table. Let's write inline. Okay, so these are the good stuff. Let's remove this. So the first section was, will be the day of the week. Then over here, let us change it into um, checkbox. And for the name, we're gonna dial in the different habits that I want to have. For example, sleep, seven. A really cool thing is that over here, we can have the count of how many, well, we have seven days in a week. Over here, we can have the count of um, the checked boxes so percentage I'm gonna put the percentage of check boxes for each single one of them and that way that way we can see that how how much um, percent of the boxes are checked and see you can see now we have different percentages on each column and on this part I'm just gonna write average I'm just gonna put average um, so let's say five six hours seven hours four, five, nine, 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 you can see after these random numbers that I added we have um, a certain average in here there's also one thing that I would like to have extra on this table which is to have an average or a percentage of all the check boxes for all my habits in one place because these are just like singular percentages for each task on its own which is really helpful to see how much percent of reading I did this week how much percent of work I did this week um, but I also want to know the percentage of my total habits that I set for myself but if you can see that I do not have an option for that so we can create one ourselves so if you go over here you can go to formula and let's press edit formula. If you know anything about coding, um, then this can be really easy for you. If you're like me and you don't know much about coding, you can search it up on the internet and learn it really quickly. It's not that hard. If sleep is equal, is equal to true, then we have one zero plus zero and this should work let us see if that works let's press done as you can see over here now these popped immediately so we have two because two boxes are checked if we check one more we, we will see three now we can see four and the same goes for this we have two 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 one two and zero so now this works how we can make a percentage out of it is by pressing calculate and then adding this the average of this column after i have this column i will have an average number of checks of check boxes for my habits in a week and i have right now one two three four habits so all that i need to do is divide this number by four times 100 and then we can have the percentage of the checked boxes or habits done per week so if you have 1.85 divided by four times 100 we can see that i have 46.25 percent of these habits done in this week now that i finished with this habit tracker let's get into the second thing that i want to dial in which is my sleep log and for that I'm gonna need something other than Notion. So I would like to have my sleep log and my stress log in, um, in a graph system so that it's easier and nicer to look at and so that I can track them um, together easily. Because a lot of people say that when you don't sleep that well, then you have a lot of stress throughout the day. And when you sleep well, you don't have a lot of stress. And I want to see how my body is reacting to all these different things. So we go over here to Google Sheets um, you can see that I already organized this. This is, this is pretty simple and pretty easy. Anyone can do this. So I just typed in here work, days, 
hours, sleeps and stress day, and sleep hours and stress hours as well. And this is what's gonna help me create a graph in Notion. Let's fill some random numbers in here. Um, so I'm gonna just write sleeping hours. I slept on the first day. Sorry, I slept on the first day, seven hours, six, nine, eight, seven, five, four, five, six, no. I'm gonna measure my stress level from zero to 10. Zero being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Let's say uh, three, four, five, two, six, four, three, six. Now, the way how we can make this into a graph that is appearing in Notion is by going to this website called notion.vip. I will leave the link in the description box down below. If you go over here, they have something called Notion Charts. You click on it, you go onto this part, and then you can see they have a system that you can put in your information and it will change your this information that you put in into a graph that you can then copy into Notion. I will quickly run you through the process. So I'm gonna copy this link over here, post it here, the name of my the name of my sheet, which is over here, January. January. Here I need to see on which range my data is within my sheet. So I want to dial in from C2 to E8. Then I want a light chart. I like the dark mode more. Um, whole numbers, whole numbers. I want the first one to be blue, which I think the first one is my sleeping hours and then the second one to be orange, which is my stress levels. And that's it, make magic. I copy this link and then I go to Notion and all I have to do is paste and create embed. Wait a second and then as you can see over here, now we have this graph that is dedicated and fits Notion perfectly. So you can see right down we have sleep hours in blue and then stress levels in orange and we can see how I'm doing throughout the week so this is the first day second third fourth etc why do I have only six days oh I forgot it's nine um, I looked at this number and I saw eight and by mistake I should have I should have typed in nine, not eight, but whatever, for this purpose, for these purposes of the video, the week is gonna be six days only. <laughs> um, now let's go back to my work hours. Um, I want to dial in also how many hours I'm working each day. By working, obviously I don't have a job, but by working, I mean content creation. I consider this my work, my passion. So anyways, let us dial in some fake hours as well. Three, four, two, five, seven, one, two. And then what we do is the same thing over here. And then go back. And then go back over here. They said, G name, January. This one is from A2, 3, 9. This one is from A2, 3, 9. For work, I want it to be in a bar, in bar format or column. These are the work hours that I've been spending throughout each day and now after I put in these graphs all I have to do to change them is I can go back to my Google Sheets and I can change any number from here and it'll immediately change on the graph in Notion so it works seamlessly with no issues all I have to do is just exit and then reload it so that the change appears I'm not gonna do that now because I don't want to exit one thing that I can add more is like I said my thoughts so I'm just gonna type it in as call out make things stand out and I'm gonna type in here thoughts. So my thoughts after I finish my week, I'm just gonna run through it and then type in the thoughts that I had for the week. If I had any, if I didn't have, then I might not write anything. But if I had, let's say, um, not satisfied with the work, uh, with the work done, I'm just gonna keep it short and keep it this way. So that is essentially the system that I want to create for myself. Um, I, I would like to keep it short and simple. I feel like I'm gonna add one more thing as well is, sorry, is when did I actually sleep? So let's create a table in line. And here I'm gonna put in also day. Let's change this into date. And 
and right here, oh, right, change this into text, and so the text on the anything like that, over here, and select, use the double tap again, shit, sorry, and nope, paste, everything is now logged in. And here I can type in when did I actually go to bed because that also matters as well. Let's say I went to bed from 12 till 7. It is the same thing essentially for the rest of the table. Now let's move this table because I don't like it to be down there. Let's move it over the thoughts. And then now I'll leave the thoughts down there in the end. I feel like adding one more chart to this page which would be like essentially everything that I did throughout the day. Let me think on how I can do that. So let's go here and copy this. And here, let's hold this. Mm, see, you want to be an hour spent? I'm gonna... Oh, okay. So let's type in there things that we did throughout the day. So we have sleep, we have work, we have um, what time? I'm just gonna keep it this way. Let's say I hours, I worked for five hours a day and then my screen time was six hours. Uh, I'm gonna keep it short just to show you how that graph will look like and then I can add in the future different things that I have. Let's say for example exercise, sports or whatever. I can add them in here. It works. So as you can see now we have the percentage. Now I don't like to keep it down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it next to the work. So now I can have this view. The cool thing about all of the system is that it works seamlessly on my computer on my phone and on my iPad and to show you that I'm gonna log into Notion on my phone and let's go over here restore page as you can see now I have my bullet journal we go to weekly and you can see everything my to-do list then my task um, my habit tracker then over here we can see all the graphs and the different things that I added my sleep log and my work log and then over here my different thoughts that I have. So it, it really works seamlessly. I can track them from my phone and I can track them from my computer if I want to. Now after I finish, now this is obviously just for one week. After I finish all this week, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to save all this, all this information and then dump it into my monthly log. So after this week is done. I can then copy all of this, copy all of this, and then take it to my monthly, go to January, and beep, paste it all in here seamlessly. It appears on this page as well. Obviously, this system will not work for everyone. It might work for me and not work for you and it might be the opposite so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna try the system for the next month or weeks and then i'll try to make a video out of it I, it might be in few weeks and it might be after a few months i still don't know because i might add different stuff into the system i'll see how i'm working with it i'll see if there are certain things that i felt like i needed to add to it or certain things that i that were useless and that are wasting my time and i need to remove it from it and whether it actually helped me become more productive and manage my tasks better or not i'll keep you posted on all of that in a future video that i will make after my experience with this system that i created for myself this video was not sponsored by them but if anyone is watching from notion feel free to hit me up and yeah with that being said thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it then please press the like button subscribe to watch more videos like this in the future and to stay tuned for part two which will be after trying this whole system and seeing if it worked for me or not um, if you would like to see more videos like this about especially about notion and the different features of it because obviously there's much more into it then let me know in the comments down below and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope to see you next time